For those of you watching this Let's Play that are blind, Matt will be reading the, <laughs> the subtitles. I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> there are certain things that it's like. So silly sounding. You can hear it rain outside. It's almost midnight. Your soul may appear as if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true? Mike! <laughs> he Wait, like, has he been playing the arena games without having played or seen this game? I think he watched an LP of it, but he didn't play it through the improper. There's a red light and a blue light. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. Wow, it is Kingdom Hearts. You are the one who will open the door. So, I guess that means Saki is out of the picture. So sad. It just occurred to me a girl named Saki works at the liquor store. Four plays and that never occurred to me. Guess we're going on a little adventure. No, not oh. quite. <laughs> It'd be really funny if someone came in and like pulled you out. Ooh, that's smart. Are you okay? I heard a really loud noise. Well, good night. If you like threw back and like banged your head on the table, yeah, that hurt. We talk decide to talk about it tomorrow. You got a cool little spinny thing. Sciencey thing. Um, Sorry. <laughs> and then I didn't have one anymore. Your soulmate is Saki too? Is that meaning the actual girl Saki or is it a metaphor? So I'm gonna be an alcoholic? I don't know, she seems to be uh, friendly and right on up to you. Well, it's because you're the, it's because you're the protagonist, you're, you're, uh, <laughs> she, he, whoa. Because all the teachers are colorful. To say the least. I know about history because I'm the reincarnation of an Egyptian god, you can call me hot girl. Yes, but remember, if you'll remember in Persona 3, they ask you to tell you all this crap and then they quiz they give you a test later. Yeah. So... 
There's math, there's history, there's philosophy, and there's a couple other things. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. No, that like... <laughs> that jab. Oh, oh, oh. I love that, by the way. Oh yeah, and you have to answer questions for it randomly. Mr. Pro! <laughs> Too bad we're in Japan, the Western calendar. Yes. In BC. There is no zero. I got so tired of hearing of the year zero when I was a kid. Because the thing before one. But our world is much more complicated than that. Ah. So some guy, some guy named Gregor copied over this guy named Jules and... The Gregor? Not the same Gregor. Uh, oh, Gregor died when his train fell off of a bridge. But luckily he finished copying the calendar. Yeah. I am smarter. Your knowledge increases because you knew something. I realize because you were it confirmed. Yes. What was I gonna say? I don't know. Now, now they don't even the call body it being AD hung upside down. Was it B? So was it A? Was it Is it supposed AD to be like mimicking an something? execution? Something it's messed like that. up. My senpai AD told me it was a maybe. third year named Saki who found the body. That oh. yeah, was Saki. Y yo. Well, yeah, um, because because um. It's a. Secular it's not really that important, but well, yesterday on TV, I uh... oh, uh, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> no, stop him! Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki Senpai supposedly the one who discovered that body. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? This doesn't hey, Yukiko, well. are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see... it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But... my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? We must fight to the how death! I know? How about you? Did you see it? It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> That's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... You would have fallen oh, in. That reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. We should try to get sucked oh, yeah? into it later. Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Want to go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What the? Relatively We've got speak. some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> I think in one of the Persona Arena games, they actually do go to Juness and fall into one of the TVs. Wow! This is huge! And holy crap, it's a 
expensive. Who buys something like this? People with money. I don't know. Rich folks? Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Convenient. Uh -huh. huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. Looking at static images of flowers that zoom in nope. very Can't slowly. Can't get in. Because, because video you're... game. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. Obviously, it only works Besides, at midnight. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ugh, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Something wrong, Yosuke? Is his arm in the TV? Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of new model? L like with a, a new function? Yes, let me go demonstrate. No. You gotta be kidding me. Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Oh, man. This is for real. That's some magic trick, man. So how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? I'm special. Now you two gonna pull it out, go right in. <laughs> hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> What do you mean, inside? What, what do you mean, empty space? <laughs> it's quite cozy. You think you, you might move spacious? in. I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What the? Are you going to pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it. Anymore! Shit! Customers! They're coming! What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here! Pull him out! What are we gonna do? Pull out, pull out. Wait! Whoa! Push the, in, push in. The second option is just push him the rest of the way in. Oh yeah, gotcha. Ouch! Everybody lands hard. Ow! I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? Why do I get the feeling you that What is this place? Line was different. Some place right inside you, Ness? Hell no it isn't. I mean we fell through a TV. Actually, uh what is going on here? If you hadn't uh -uh. couldn't tell, I don't talk. But I do, but only when. Does does your character ever speak? Like audibly, I mean? Once. So So you have uh, a voice actor. Well there's there's alive. grunts, you hear grunts right? occasionally. You're understanding. <laughs> I think my butt's cracked now. Uh, uh -huh. Of course it is. Whoa. What now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. Is this a studio? All this fog. Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba. 
is there? Are you having trouble breathing? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Huh? But, but, look, we need to get home and... Then how do you intend to do huh? that? Wait a minute. Wait, which way did we come in from? Uh, I don't see a way in or out. Up. You came in from up. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore. I want to go home. Okay, so how? That's a yes, let's calm down. Jeez. You're right. Okay. Okay. Let's calm down and think about this. All right, so we need to find a way out. Is there really a way out of here? We got in, so we must be able to get out somehow. That's true. In case anyone was wondering, there'll be more talking there's no from exit, me when we're trapped, there's not. So let's cross story our fingers and, story and look around. And <laughs> because if I open my mouth, I'm probably just gonna say things. Spoilery. Yeah. It's, yeah. Ooh, freaky door. What is this place? It feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we've got to trust our instinct a little. I know, but... No, I gotta trust my instinct, not your instinct. <laughs> Let's go to the freaky, demonic-looking door. I'm sure that'll make everything better. Let's. Ooh, it's somebody's bedroom. Hey, is it me or is the fog lighter here? No service. What a surprise. Can you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. Huh? What the? It's a dead end! There's no exit! It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Someone all finger painty on the wall. I can't hold it any longer! My bladder's gonna explode! Yosuke! What are you doing? I gotta let it out before I piss my pants! You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around! I can't go if everyone's watching! I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Someone must really hate this person. Oh, it's the other girl. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Come on, let's go back to where we came from and look somewhere else for an exit. I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go! I'm sick of this place! So does that mean is she I'm another target? So or good. is she with is she the upset the, what the first now person that, you that died it, was all me too. stressed out about? As Aaron struggles very difficultly not to spout right, let's out. Go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what any of this means. This is a this is the dragoon spiel. Every time I ask something, Dash is like, "We finally made it back here." Wait, what's that? There's something over there. It looks like Cheshire Cat. What is this thing? A monkey? A bear? What in the world? 
That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? So it's a bear. <gasps> it talked. Well, what are you? You want to fight? Ow. The, don't like yell at me like that. This place is what it is. It doesn't have a name. It's where I live. You live here? Just to get up and go. If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. Where is Someone's that? been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? What are you? Where are we? What the heck is going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Uh, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Oh. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? It's a three-way TV. Where did those TVs come from? I don't think I can pause. I'm sorry. Okay, now go, go, get I out don't of here. I don't want to risk it. Bear. What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? S stop pushing! It's much more disorienting on the TV than it is on my Vita. Because it's bigger? Yeah. Huh? Is this... Did we make it back? I love how the thing down there just says moo. Under the TV with Attention the Attention shoppers! <laughs> Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Oh good, I don't have to be y'all. It's already that late. <sighs> Looks like we were in there for quite a while. That's right. Now I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Misuzu Hiragi. She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean that weird room we saw? Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Now that I think about it, there was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop. No more. We gotta stop talking about this. I'm gonna wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. Because that always works. I'm feeling a chill, too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. And save my game. I mean... <sighs> mm-hmm. Do we get dinner one more time? Yeah. Some hey, big ramen. Welcome home. I look like Fruit Loops. <laughs> well, like you can buy those. Yeah. Just like buckets. Just add water. It just I meant the color scheme um, reminded me of Fruit Loops. Well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Oh, I see. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. 
but the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Hey, we knew that. Sort of. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a yeah, vacation well, to recover probably. from her ordeal. There won't be much. Oh, yes, the Amagi yeah. Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. Have fun. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. Yes, we suspected as much. Oops. Ah. Is the ramen ready now? Give it some more time. You caught a chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? And ramen. You should get to bed after you take it. <laughs> no dinner for you. Oh, I know.